for four years since the Mi24P release, I have been answering questions and helping people with the Yaw Autopilot. In fact, it has been such a big topic that this is the original reason I wanted to make YouTube videos. <laughs> I have strong opinions about the Yaw Autopilot. Almost as strong as how strongly the Yaw Autopilot has screwed up people's flights. And if there's anything I want to communicate with this video, it's that heading hold kind of sucks and has little use and it, it shouldn't be overestimated basically. It's, it's more like an assist at best. It will never work like the Mi 8 where it automatically turns on and off, but always helps. But when the micro switch bind is pressed and the heading hold disabled, instead the yaw AP is in sort of a stabilizing mode or a coordination mode, as Soviet manuals call it, that dampens maneuvers and helps smoothen your flight nicely. And this is the mode that I think people should use 99% of the time. However, if you're a new pilot and don't want to mess with all of these settings and micro switches, I recommend to keep the yaw AP off. Maybe turn it on when you want heading hold and then turn it back off when you're done your experience really won't be that much different than my preferred way, just less yaw stability. So, four years in the making, if you don't fully understand, I swear, I swear, I will give you personal help as best I can. So let's get started. In real life, it's pretty simple. The anti-torque pedals have switches in them that react to foot pressure. Put your feet on the pedals and the yaw AP is in coordination mode. Take your feet off the pedals and it's in heading hold. Tell me, how often do you think real life pilots take their feet off the pedals? With the Mi 8, the yaw AP is basically off with feet on the pedals and micro switch pressed. But coordination mode was needed in the Mi 24 because as its eight degree swept wings cause a pronounced Dutch roll. This is the reason we have the anhedral wing angle as that reduces Dutch roll. But the other thing to do for Dutch roll is add a yaw dampener which is basically what the coordination mode does, but I'm going to keep calling it coordination mode to not confuse it with the dampener that slows down the pedals and sometimes moves them. Now, on the forums, I had created thread after thread after thread about the Yaw AP, how adding more options would be awesome, and eventually, ED delivered. We have a lot of settings, but first let me describe the two modes. Heading hold. It will reach its full 18% authority when your nose is 7.5 degrees away from the heading it is activated. And this is one reason I try to tell people to not overestimate it. I notice in a lot of videos where people use heading hold, for example, take off or landing. They activate it and then the nose drifts maybe five to seven degrees left. And only then is the heading hold strong enough to keep the nose still. It's an assist, people. In addition, if it runs out of authority, a dampener that slows down the pedals can also move the pedals to help it maintain the heading. It is modeled in game as your pedals being trimmed 
which also reduces overall authority, messes up muscle memory. So basically it sucks. When the petals are trimming themselves, you will see this yellow Cyrillic letter on the right control plus enter menu. For people that rightfully hate it, EV gave us the setting pedals auto move. With this unchecked, you won't have any of the pedals moving and trimming on their own. So I heavily suggest you keep this unchecked unless you somehow have force feedback pedals that work perfectly with it. Now this dampener that moves and slows down the pedals, there is a switch to turn it off. But if you flip that switch down, it won't stop the pedals from moving on their own and trimming themselves. It will allow you to move the pedals faster though. This stuff about the pedals trimming themselves when the heading hold hits its limit, it works in the real helicopter because the pedals have no spring and you just move them back. But even if I took the spring out of my pedals, they would still be trimmed in DCS due to how it's implemented. Coordination mode. Here is why this mode is so awesome. It doesn't just fight any movement. Instead, it only tries to slow down changes in turn rate. Know how I mentioned it's kind of a yaw dampener? It applies a filter that removes any constant deflection. So, so um, let's say I turn right. It would try to slow down the initial yaw into the turn. But as the turn became consistent and the turn rate constant, it would go back to zero deflection. As I stop the turn, it will try and slow down the decrease in yaw rate. But as I stay level for a second, it will go back to zero deflection. Because of this, it will never fight any maneuvers you do, but only smoothen them while still trying to slow down any unwanted yaw movement, such as those caused by rotor torque, inertia, or recoil. It's freaking awesome! It will be strongest at low speed where you want it to be strong, and it will smoothen any turn or adjustment you make, including making your gun runs more smooth and accurate. One of its most noticeable effects in my opinion. Now, the setting pedal micro switch logic. Your first option is similar to the default mode of the Mi 8. When the pedals are centered, it will be in heading hold. And when you move them enough, it will go into coordination mode. But for many reasons, it absolutely sucks compared to the Mi 8. In the Mi 8, wherever your pedals are when Yaw AP is turned on, or wherever you trim them, is the center point around where heading hold is activated. And that makes it very intuitive. In addition for the Mi 8, move your pedals only 5%, uh, like 5% of your pedal axis and it will transition to heading hold off. So heading hold is almost never on when you don't want it. In comparison for our Mi 24 module, it doesn't matter where your pedals are when you turn on Yaw AP or wherever you trim them. The region the heading hold is on will always be the center of your pedal access. And unlike Mi 8, where only moving your pedals plus or minus 5% was enough to deactivate heading hold. In the Mi 24, it's 9%. 9% from center before the heading hold turns off. Together, this means that the heading hold will often be on when you're trying to turn. And sometimes the heading hold will be off when you want it on. 
let's say I need to use a lot of power, like in a hover or at high speed, I will need a right pedal. So much, I might disable heading hold even while flying straight. Then, let's say I want to turn left. I will move my pedals left. And since I needed right pedal to fly straight, moving my pedals left actually puts them closer to center. Putting heading hold on while I'm trying to turn and having it fight me all the time. Just like my ex-girlfriend, but, but don't, don't, don't worry, I'm getting over her. In low power situations, with left pedal, it's the exact same issue. It can be off when you want it on, fight your turns when you don't want it to. So it sucks a lot. The micro switch binds will work in this mode and override it though. Now, the middle option. Disable by presence of pedal movement. It's even more useless. Activate heading hold whenever my pedals are still? What if I'm turning at a constant rate and my pedals are still? It will fight you. Forget this mode exists. Now, my preferred option, automatic micro switch off. This is basically a 100% manual mode where it switches heading hold or coordination only according to your micro switch binds, which of course correspond to the buttons and the pedals and the real thing. When you start a mission, it will be in heading hold mode. So because of this, it is part of my startup procedure to press the micro switch or the first thing I do when I spawn into a hot start. You get two different options, a micro switch bind where the button will need to be held to work, just like the button and the pedals and the real thing, but would work if you assign it to a switch or the more accessible option of micro switch toggle bind so you only need to press it once to switch modes. So I use my micro switch bind or toggle on mission start and basically leave it there the entire flight. I might use heading hold for the rare time I need to go heads down and can't use root mode. And I know some people use heading hold for takeoff or landing or weapon aiming and you can do whatever floats your boat. I would just advise to not overestimate it. And that coordination mode will still help you smoothen out your yaw movements. Now, during flight, you might get confused which mode is activated. Here's two ways to figure out which mode is currently on. One, just start turning. If the yaw channel stays at full deflection, it is in heading hold mode. Two, try to move the knob under the button you turn on the uh, yaw AP. This knob has nine marks. Each mark will move the heading hold one degree. So usually, you use this knob to move the deflection of the channel as shown in the servo spindle deflection windows. But the thing is, if you're in coordination mode, moving this knob won't change the deflection in the servo spindle deflection window at all. Make it easy to tell which mode you are in. If moving the knob does move the vertical line, then heading hold is on. So if you turn and it stays at max, you're in heading hold. If you move the knob and it doesn't move the deflection shown in the servo spindle deflection window, you're in coordination. Oh, and semi-related, the SPOO 52 
it's just limiting tail rotor pitch based on altitude and temp to not overstress the tail boom. You can turn it off for more tail rotor authority, but beware this will also cause uh, an increase of drag on your rotor RPM uh, when you're at max right pedal. But that's it. Anyways, that's about it. Use that micro switch to fly smooth and precise. Use it to make your gun run more accurate and your maneuver smooth. Have fun. I, I really hope this helps because I've been planning it for years. <laughs> oh God, where did the time go?